my gosh, welcome back. We are so close to completing lesson one. I'm so excited for you because I know that you will be so much farther ahead of the game than I was at your age. When you're done with this course, people will be wondering like, how in the world do you have such a good grasp on like financial concepts and the financial world? I'm so proud of you. All right, so let's talk about certificates of deposit. At some point, you will find yourself with some extra money that you don't know what to do with, or you will want to save money for something specific, but you'll find yourself postponing it over and over and over again. I would never. Trust me, it will happen. While certificates of deposits are great for these kind of scenarios, they're also great for saving money for college expenses or for a big wedding or any other big event, like for a child. The point is that they're useful for saving money for the somewhat long term. But what is a certificate of deposit? Well, a certificate of deposit is just a product offered by most banks and credit unions that allows you to save money in a high interest account, but you cannot take it out until a specific amount of time that you and the financial institution agreed on. You can hold your money in a certificate of deposit or share certificate is what it's called at credit unions for as short as three months to as long as five to 10 years. So let's say that you want to save money for your 21st birthday because you want to go on a cruise and you are now 17. Let's party! Well, it would probably make sense for you to choose a CD with like a maturity of like three years because you want it to mature or you want to be allowed to take the money out before you turn 21 so you can pay for your cruise ahead of time. Some CDs allow you to deposit more money until the maturity date. Some CDs give you only a certain amount of time to deposit all the money that you want. And some have a maximum amount that you can deposit. So make sure to read all the details about that particular CD before choosing to secure your money on it. Because remember that once you put that money there, you cannot take it out until it matures. So if for whatever reason you want to withdraw that money from your CD before it matures, you will have to pay a withdrawal fee. Of course. The good news is that most CDs are FDIC or NCOA insured. So as long as you have less than $250,000 in a CD, if the bank or the credit union goes broke, your money will still be safe. Sweet. I personally love CDs because I can put my money there and let it grow by doing literally nothing and then reinvest it in another CD if I don't have a good use for it when it matures. So this could be some really good investing practice for you without the risk of losing your money in the market. Was it cool? It felt really cool. Now, coming up next, I will talk about online only banks because they are great, but they're not perfect. So let's find out what you should know about them in the next video. I'll see you there.